Hi, I'm going to uh, introduce you to Animator and 3D Modeling by doing a uh, quick model of the solar system. It's uh, going to be to scale, at least the size of the planets, not necessarily the distances between them, but this is a pretty good overview. And the first thing I want to direct your attention to is the Animator interface. When you hover over any of these buttons in the toolbar, you'll notice in the bottom left corner, it tells you the name of the tool that you're hovering over, and this becomes essential that you understand where these things are or that you know how to find them. So to start out with, we're going to start in the select mode. Uh, we are in object edit mode, and we are going to choose a sphere. So I click on a sphere and just click anywhere and drag a little circle, and that creates the sphere for you. Now, neat thing about this is it snaps back into select mode again, so we can actually double click this object and start editing its parameters. And the things I'm going to change here right away is I'm going to give this sphere the name Earth. I'm going to hit the Tab key to go down to the location. And I'm going to change its location to the X, Y, and Z value for the center of the universe. 0, 0, and 0. And we know that's not accurate. Earth isn't in the center of the universe. It's just where we're going to get started with this. Now the next thing I want to do is I'd like to create a sense of scale to this thing. And if we do a little Google search on the size of the Earth, it says that the Earth's diameter in kilometers is 12,742. So if you remember 12.7, we'll just go to one significant digit and double click this thing. We can change the diameter of our object here to 12.7 and hit the enter or OK button and we've got ourselves the Earth. Now moving around in this environment, if you tap the F key, the F key zooms in to fill the frame or to fill the screen with your object. If you want to zoom out, you can do that by going to Arc Rotate. There's the button for it up at the top. And you'll notice if you look at the bottom left, it tells you this is called Arc Rotate and it has a shortcut, Control R. This is one of the handiest functions that you're going to find in this. So memorize Control R. You get a green targeting reticle. And now you can move around a little bit. Oddly, with the right mouse button, if you click and drag inside the reticle, it lets you strafe, basically, side to side. Not so much a pan as it is a strafe. If you press and hold the wheel mouse down inside and go from right to left, you can zoom out. And the opposite is true. If you go from left to right, you can zoom in. But we're going to want to zoom out a little bit. And the last mode that it's in is if you click and hold the, uh, the left mouse button and rotate inside there, it actually lets you see the 3D-ness of the object, lets you change your view. But you're going to want to know how to go back to your front view, and that is with the numeric keypad on your keyboard. Over on the right-hand side, tap the 5 key, and you'll notice that we're back in front view. And for later reference, you can look at the left view by tapping the 4 key on the numeric keypad, or the right view on the, the 6, the top view on 8, or go back to the front. Now that's not very handy right now because it looks the same for all of these. So it's time to build some more planets in here. So I've zoomed out enough that I can build something else. I'm going to turn off Control R, toggling it one more time. I'm out of arc rotate. I'm going to give this thing a moon and I'm going to go up here and click and drag some little sphere. And uh, to find out if I've got it accurate as far as the size, I'll do a little search on that. And Google search says ah, 3.5 rounding up. Ought to give us the diameter of the moon, so I'll double click this thing and go. I was pretty close, 3.5. And we've got ourselves Earth and Moon roughly to scale. So I'm going to draw some more objects, and you can look up all of these sizes. Once you're finished with Earth and the Moon, you can go on to draw Venus. Looking up its diameter, there's Mercury. And on the other side of Earth, you can find a place for Mars. And then you're done with the inner planets. We'll zoom way out. And you're going to have to do that. You're going to have to pan over to make room for Jupiter and turn off Arc Rotate, Control R. Jupiter is kind of big. So I will double click it. I'll give it its name and put it about there. Now I'm guessing at how its diameter is right now. Actually, I underestimated. Uh, Jupiter is 142,000 kilometers, uh, excuse me, 142.8 thousand kilometers. So it's kind of big. Now, to move Jupiter, now that we've drawn it, we want to move these things around. We move from select mode to move mode. You have to select the object first and then click the move tool. You can also tap M on your keyboard 
and I do that out of force of habit so it's really easy to move it just using the mouse but if I do that I'm gonna to have to go back and I'm gonna to have to correct that Y value if you wanted I'm gonna undo it for a sec I think I can undo it oh, there it is if you wanted to move it a, diff a different way here's something that you can do if you want to move it along the X axis but not the Y axis you can use that same move tool you can turn off the Y axis and when you slide it now you can't help but to do it perfectly along the x-axis. It won't let you slide along the y-axis. So you can restrict the motion by locking off or toggling off that y-axis. And that's all there is to that. So in fast motion we'll continue creating Saturn without the rings and we'll save ring creation for a later tutorial. Beyond Saturn is Uranus and yes I'm pronouncing it Uranus. Beyond that Neptune and for old time's sake we'll include Pluto in there too. So this is the end of the, just the simple modeling, and there you can see the scale, of the size, the relative sizes of the planets. Next thing we're going to do in the next tutorial is we're going to put some texture maps on here, and we're going to color them, and that'll be fun. Okay, see you in the next tutorial.